Last night was an epic night for Halo fans and the beginning of a new chapter for Halo. 343 Industries revealed they are rebranding themselves to Halo Studios, confirmed Halo is switching to Unreal Engine 5 for future games, and multiple Unreal-powered Halo projects are in development, and showed footage of their Unreal Engine research project called Project Foundry, which you're seeing right now. So, I created this video to explain everything we know so far about Halo Studios and Project Foundry. The first thing you need to understand is Project Foundry is not a game. It's a research project to help Halo Studios improve their Unreal Engine development skills and create future Halo games. Project Foundry started this year when Chris Matthews was hired as studio art director in January and pitched the idea to prepare Halo Studios for Halo's future. As Microsoft stated, we're at the beginning of this new chapter, not the final stages, and it's fair to say that a new Halo game is not imminent. So, it will be a while before we learn more about a new Halo game and experience it. But, the Project Foundry footage gives us an idea of what will be included in future games. Pierre Hintz, who is the studio head of Halo Studios, states, It's fair to say that our intent is that the majority of what we showcased in Foundry is expected to be in projects which we are building or future projects. To further prepare the studio to develop Halo in Unreal Engine 5 and do things we have not seen in games using Unreal, Halo Studios has worked closely with Epic Games, who are the creators of Unreal Engine, to ensure they can reach that goal. Bill Clifford, who is the vice president of Epic Games, stated, It's awesome to see Halo Studios already pushing the boundaries of Unreal Engine 5. Project Foundry's work demonstrates how they can bring Halo to life with beautifully detailed, uncompromised worlds. The switch to Unreal Engine 5 is very important, because Slipspace Engine was restricting Halo Studios from developing content and games. Chris Matthews says, Components of Slipspace are almost 25 years old, and there are aspects of Unreal that would have taken huge amounts of time and resources to try and replicate. Also, Unreal Engine is known by many developers in the gaming industry, which makes it much easier to hire new talent. Previously, developers would have to spend a lot of time learning how to use Slipspace when joining 343. But the switch to Unreal means Halo can grow far more quickly and organically than ever before. Lastly, Halo Studios has reorganized their entire structure to give development teams what they need to make something new. This restructure allows the developers or people who are day in day out making the games to be the ones to make the decisions on the games. This is extremely important because as I reported, former leadership did not listen to developers allow developers to make decisions, or even test the games during development. So knowing the developers are making decisions for future Halo games makes me a lot more confident in Halo's future. Alright, that is everything we know so far about Halo Studios and Project Foundry. I will continue to share more information about Halo's future in my Halo Development Update series, so make sure to subscribe. Also, leave a comment about your thoughts on Halo Switch to Unreal Engine 5. With that said, I'll talk to y'all in the next video. Peace.